right, so here he is right now at present, the best we have to offer at 145 pounds, the undisputed featherweight king, Alexander Volkanovsky. And you want to talk about a championship performance as betting on the A lot of people look at Rafael Dos Anjos back in the day against Showtime Pettis. How about what Volkanovsky did in outclassing Max Holloway to realize UFC gold? And he's just starting to put it all together, so it's a scary proposition for the rest of this featherweight division to think just how good this Volkanovski could be now, having made those improvements since winning the belt against him. Well, his success has truly been one of the feel-good stories in mixed martial arts over the last several years. Charles Oliveira kind of left for dead by people in 2018, then went on to become the best lightweight in the world, and still believes he can be that yet again if he can get a win tonight. He's got to win tonight. He's got to get going in the right direction. You lose your championship in the way that he did. You question whether or not Oliveira has the mental makeup to get back going in the right direction. How can you question, though, when we have seen what he has done Prior. This guy is a tremendous striker. Unbelievable jujitsu. If you're on the ground with him, you're constantly in danger. He can submit you from any single position. Charles Oliveira is special, man. And it's always fun to be able to call one of his fights. And I'm not sure minute for minute there is a more exciting fighter in mixed martial arts today than Charles Oliveira. And thankfully, the MMA masses get to watch him compete yet again here tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for this fight. one. Ready. Go. Ask and you shall receive, especially when you have put forth the body of work like Alexander Volkanovsky has. He wanted to move up, test himself at 155 pounds, and man, does he get a challenge tonight in Charles Dublin Sullivan. When he was playing rugby league, Johnny was over 200 pounds, so you don't imagine he'd be undersized, but it's the skills that I believe will give him a chance. He can do everything inside the octagon. But he will need to do everything if he wants to beat Charles Oliveira, one of the toughest, most excited guys the UFC has ever seen. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. Oliveira doing the right things defensively. Early round action here. Charles Oliveira pressing forward, guard high in constant pursuit of his foot. Yeah, classic Muay Thai man, lifting that knee to draw to reaction, and if you give him too big a reaction, he will start you with that beautiful left hook. The guy is, has tremendous power, and he sets up his strikes like not many guys in the UFC, or not many people in the UFC. Back and forth we go. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Tries to pick through a flying knee to the head. Volkanovski gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Continuing to go to the head. Oliveira 
Cena's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. Take down here, he gets it. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Volkanovski. Oliveira's eye is closing up. Postures up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. Oh, nice elbow. Volkanovski's in half guard now. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Oliveira's back in full mount. You have to be so well-rounded once you get to the top of these divisions. You cannot be, just be a knockout guy. You gotta be able to change it up if you find yourself in this situation that he's in right now. Just work, I'll stand this up. You need to work. Yeah, that's oh, he's gotta be careful there, yep. Two minutes to go. Well, he's got his back now. Volkanovski's getting work from the top here. He's got to do a better job to cover up. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise that a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Trying to kick the leg out. Now he lands a punch. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. He throws all of himself into that kick. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Now a kick to the body. So 39 total strikes have landed for Charles Oliver. Volkanovski going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. So the takedown has been there at times for Alexander Volkanovski, but largely he hasn't pursued it. You know him to be a strategist and really wanted to showcase his striking in this matchup tonight. He is. <laughs> Take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. That leg kick hurt. 15 seconds. Takedown defense holds up. Volkanovski's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps there on the bridge. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut may will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or this doesn't seem like he's trying, he has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is gonna be stopped due to the swell. You ready? You ready? Do Second it. round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. Oh, wow. How about the roundhouse kick? And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All right, Dubronx pressing forward as usual, lifting up that knee, high guard. If it was a silhouette, you'd know exactly who it was. Yeah, Charles Oliveira. Oh, oh another one.
stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Now he gets a more dominant position. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. Yeah, they get you deep. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Oliveira. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Beautiful transition. Great submission defense on display tonight. Well, once again, mixed martial arts, the land of the unpredictable. You've got a jiu-jitsu fighter here throwing hands with one of the better guys in this division. I would have never thought that this is the fight that would play out in front of us. The jiu-jitsu guy leading the dance, but not only leading the dance and striking, but winning the exchanges. He has truly shown that he has committed himself to becoming a full mixed martial artist. Oliveira going to work here from the full guard. Nice combination of strikes, mixing it up pretty well here. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches in bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did, was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Let's fight. Come on. Less than two minutes now to go in round two. A flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, nice leg kick attack there from Alexander Volkanovsky. You know it's a city kickboxing fighter if they're employing that weapon. And, and you know, honestly, John, he's done that over and over again. Oh, two strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Eighty-two total strikes have already landed for Charles Oliver. And landing at a 49% clip tonight thus far against Alexander the Great Volkanovsky. Volkanovski going for the takedown, nothing to do in there. Oliveira's taking aim at that cut right now, and they might even have to call in a ringside position. Smart decision by the fighter to continue to attack that compromised area. Strike there by Oliveira. 20 seconds left. Oh, spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. 10 seconds to go in the round. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was for him, D.C., and look at him walking back to that corner. He's feeling himself a little bit. Oh, he's feeling himself, and look at his coaches. They're all celebrating because they know that if they stay the course, if they do the exact same thing, they may be able to find the finish this time. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. D.C., here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. 
He will have to get back to this action if he Ready wants to fight. get the desired finish. Ready. Third round underway. Yeah, that punch was blocked. just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. That's a very nice leg kick there by Oliveira. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence, and not overconfidence, but a good... tie here. Oh, he better start moving. He can't take too many of those uppercuts. Three minutes to go in round three. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pull it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Side control now. And now he's equipped to choke. That Darce is tight. It looks like the Darce choke is in. He's got it locked in now. What he's got to do is start to feed his head. Try to get the leg. He's off. What's wrong with the defense on this play? Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Oliveira. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded. They're so gifted. It's hard to just lock. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. Less than two minutes to go in round three. Volkanovski's looking to pass out of the half guard here and get that side control, but he is denied by the opposition. Striking from every position lands a strike from the bottom. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC. And you're seeing why. Oh, he reverses the position now. Nice work on the ground by Oliveira. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, nice shot landed from the bottom. I mean, way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's going to have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse and it's only going to continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. All right, try to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping the full guard. Under 20 seconds now to go. Waning seconds here of round number three. Volkanovski's in half court. 
Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hip, Stop. making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Ready to fight? Ready. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Left-hand connection and a right. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. that jab right on the button he does everything so well and he's so calm he's so calm in the face of such a big spot stuffs that takedown attempt without issue straight right he misses He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. Oh, he's in trouble. Shot is blocked there by both oh, Power shots landing on both sides. And the chins continue to hold up. What a fight. Oh, he lands a big double leg leg change. He gets up. He is back on the feet here. Oh, God. And that will do it. Holy smokes. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 42 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alexander the Great Bononoski! Man. Australia, your guy, Windang, New South Wales, Australia, Alexander Volkanovsky by knockout tonight. Just another feather in this Hall of Fame.